<laughs> you got the world's biggest chair though, to be fair. I've never done this before, do you know what I mean? I've done this since I was like eight. <laughs> but, Luke, obviously you had a massive win in your last fight against Sullivan Cawley. You entered as, I suppose, a small bit of an underdog, but mm -hmm. what was it like to, to get that massive win? I suppose, how has your life changed since then that now people know, I suppose, all around the world that you're yeah. a top prospect? Biggest difference, I'm engaged to my beautiful fiance. Right Shout right. out to you, Orchid. Um, yeah, that was, a, that, was a, that was a huge W for me, man. That was the biggest W of the night. Um, and then, obviously, I got to complete the dream of fighting in the States, that was dope. The tax was not as dope, but um, it, was, it, was a, it was a really good experience. Temecla was amazing. Fighting in a casino like that, it was just nuts. And uh, yeah, the fight went great. Didn't take any damage at all. Um, got to show my skill set and uh, yeah, prove I belong in the top 10 and uh, I'm a dog in this, in this uh, arena, man, so yeah. So what was the tax situation? How much did it take? Jesus, brother! They take forty percent off the top, and then uh, and then yeah, I obviously had to pay everyone and all that jazz, and then uh, you do your own tax when you get home. It's a bit of a nightmare, but yeah, we're trying to figure it out. No evasion, government. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna pay for the roads, but yeah, man, it's uh, yeah, it's a work in progress. Obviously, you're here in Ireland now, fighting in a different country again. You know, as someone who's signed for Bellator, I assume fighting in Ireland is always something you wanted to do. Yeah. It, was that on the bucket list? 100%. I commentated, actually, it was this Saturday, one year ago, uh, I did my first commentating gig for the Bellator event for Romero and um, uh, Melvin Manhoff. Uh, it was dope. I got to stand cage side for the first time and hear the crowd, and the Dublin crowd is nuts, man. It r reminds me what it's like to fight in London. It's that sort of drunk man energy it's uh it's dope man and uh, the seats were vibrating so i got super excited when i saw that and thought yeah one day i'm gonna be here uh and here we are man one year later to the day so yeah it's exciting obviously a lot of the top prospects from the uk and ireland are signed to bellator at the moment <clears throat> where would you put yourself in that list do you think you're one of the top ones coming through coming from the uk yeah oh 100 percent, man in in the light heavyweight division i'm number one from the UK, 100%. Um, you've got the likes of Fabian, about to fight for the title. Fabian's a flipping assassin, you know, uh, pardon the pun in his name. But yeah, man, Europe Europe has some amazing fighters. UK, I think, are leading the pack right now. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll be honest, out of Europe, the top two light heavyweights, in my opinion, is myself and Simeon Powell. And uh, Sim's my boy, he's my training partner. We go to war every day together. So um, yeah, I feel confident that I'm going to take over, man, especially in this division. Obviously, Simeon's fighting next week as well. Was yes, that a big sir. part of your training camp, having him with you? 100%, man. The last camp uh, we shared together as well. Um, I'm going to stick around for some of his camp for the December fight for the final win of PFL. Um, but, yeah, man, we go toe-to-toe -to -toe every day, man. So, yeah, he's my brother. He's my family. And, uh, yeah, without him, we, it's like a really nice balance of training with us uh, where, where I lack in skill set. He excels where he lacks I excel. So, yeah, man, he's, uh, he's going to kill it next Saturday like I'm going to do this Saturday. And last one for me. What do you think your opponent uh, on Saturday night? Obviously, like, maybe he's the, the biggest name, but mm -hmm. he's a very, very good record. And, you know, mm -hmm. I think it was it 14-1 or something like that yes, when you've sir. won that many fights. Obviously, there's something good about you. What, what have you seen in the tape with him? Yes, sir. No, he's a dog. 14-1, uh, strong gra grappling background, sambo background. He's got strong power, good hands. Um, I think he's quite rudimental in his skill set. That's not me knocking him. I just think he... He sticks to what he does and doesn't really expand out of that. But um, yeah, he's a dog, but I'm going to crush him. I'm going to absolutely smash him because I am the better fighter and because I am a dog. So uh, yeah, and I'm going to die on my shield if I can't. So I'm really excited. It's going to be a war on Saturday and uh, yeah, I'm ready to go. You seem very confident and you've obviously bounced back with two very impressive finishes in the first round. But how did it feel and what, you know, they say a lot that the secret ingredient to success is defeat. Mm -hmm. So what did you take from that fight and what did you learn and how, how much did you grow from, from that loss? From a defeat? Yeah, no, it was massive. I, um, I learned a lot about myself in the fact that uh, I'm not an island and I can't, I have to take advice from other people. I made some big mistakes in that camp and... Uh, and yeah, it was it was um, it was a mistake on my behalf, in my opinion, going into the fight. Um, but I did it. I'm a man who stands on my own shield. So um, so yeah, Simon won fair and square. Uh, I took a beating for 15 minutes to learn a lesson. But 
lesson is 100% learnt. And, uh, and yeah, I don't want to feel that again. So I don't, mind, I don't mind going into a fight and losing as long as I know I went into that fight where I should have been there and I gave it my all. I went into that fight where I necessarily shouldn't have been there. And, uh, and I think that showed in my performance. So um, yeah, no, I learnt a lot and I learnt I'm a dog and uh, I can be in the trenches for a full 15 minutes if I have to. So, yeah. Any more room? Cool, all these quiet people and no more. <laughs> Patrick? Luke, how you doing, man? Um, how do you top the performance you had last time out against Sullivan Cully? You know, it was like a, it was like a steamroller. You ran through him. Yeah, I think... Um, it was funny. What's going on, Patrick, by the way, man? Shout out to you. What's going on? Um, yeah, I, uh, I don't necessarily think I steamrolled him. Um, I didn't get to get any hands off. There was no like offensive grappling and no offensive striking just because he shot so early and we didn't predict that at all. Um, I got to show my anti-wrestling against the uh, NCAA you know, guy from America, uh, top prospect and all that jazz. I got to show that I can grapple with, with guys like that and uh, submit them in less than three minutes, man. So I learned a lot uh, about that. I've never fought someone with, that, with those credentials before. But, um, but yeah, it was a great win. And um, yeah, it was, a, it was a flipping easy, easy three minutes. And when we talked in Milan last year in October, you said you really, really wanted to get on the Dublin card. Now here you are about a year later. How good does it feel to be sat in this chair right now? And how excited are you to be out there Saturday night? It's great, man. Honestly, this is, this is probably the best I've ever felt. I know it's corny to say, and I know every guy always says that, but this is the first time I've worked with a nutritionist. Shout out to Charlie. Um, he's taken this weight cut and showing me a whole other side to how to weight cut and I'm doing it super professionally for the first time ever. I'm taking advice on a weight cut for the first time ever. Um, I'm gonna wait, make weight like a breeze. I feel like a savage right now. I'm not drained, I'm not drawn. Um, I'm full and I'm good to go. Uh, yeah, I feel great, man. And I'm just excited to go toe to toe. I'm, I really hope that my opponent takes this fight as this is his big time to shine. You know, I hope this is his best camp. This is the best foot forward for him. He comes out aggressive and ready to scrap. Uh, and in that way, I can really show what I'm made of and I can show that I am a Spartan and I'm a dog. So, um, yeah, man, I'm excited. I'm excited to go to war. Thank you and good luck. Santiago. Hi, Luke. Greetings from Amsterdam. Thank you for the time, as always. Love talking to you during fight week. How is Bellator taking care of you over there in Dublin? Santiago, since my debut, what's going on, my brother? Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm good. Uh, everyone is everyone is beautiful here. The media room is very quiet, but obviously it's been a long day. Um, but uh, yeah, bro, listen, as always, the Bellator staff, I love them. Uh, they've treated me so nice and... Brother, they've changed my life, man. So, yeah, grateful to be here as always. I love Dublin. It's a bit rainy right now. It reminds me of Stevenage. And, uh, yeah, just looking forward to the fight. All right, last one here, Dylan. What's up, Luke? Thank you for the time, man. Um, so, 2-0 and since the, your first loss. 2-0 uh, and with two first-round stoppages. Would you consider that fight almost like a blessing in disguise? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it was... Um, Again, I learned a lot of lessons and, uh, and I had to take a beating to do it. But uh, yeah, it's just, it just feels like, it feels like that's so far in the past now. Do you know what I mean? Like for the last two years, I've been, two years? I don't know how long it's been actually. But however long I've been pining for the rematch, I've been begging Bellator every other week for the rematch after every fight. I'm like, please give me him, give me him, give me him. He lost his last fight and my coach said, you're not allowed to say his name anymore. Um, and he, he will now work to get to you if it ever happens. So yeah, that's it. It's in the rear view now. You know, I'm onto bigger and better things. I've got, I've got a soul to take on Saturday and then I just keep climbing until the belt is mine. Um, but yeah, brother, it's, uh, it's good, man. It's good. I've learned a lot. Thanks, Luke. Appreciate the time.